Who will go to hell? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. Hell has become a controversial subject in recent years, even among Christians. However, the controversy, it is entirely man-made. The rejection of the reality of hell stems from a human inability to reconcile the love of God with eternal punishment or from an outright rejection of God's word. Even some professing Christians have come to unbiblical conclusions. Some have tried to redefine hell, create an intermediate state not found in scripture, or deny hell altogether. In doing so, they are ignoring Jesus' warning. If anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city, which are described in this scroll. Hell is mentioned 167 times in the Bible, sometimes called Gehenna, Hades, the pit, the abyss, or everlasting punishment. Jesus spoke of heaven and hell as real places. The story Jesus told about the rich man and Lazarus was an actual event that demonstrated the reality of the two eternal destinations. Heaven is the dwelling place of God, where Jesus has gone to prepare a place for those who love him. Hell was created for the devil and his angels. But because every human being is a sinner, every person past the age of accountability has already been condemned to hell. We all deserve hell as the just punishment for our rebellion against God. Jesus was clear that no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. He was also clear that hell is an eternal punishment for those who do not obey him. In the end, God will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. John the Baptist said about Jesus, his winnowing fork is in his hand and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. In the simplest terms, who will go to heaven and who will go to hell? Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. So, those who go to hell are specifically those who do not believe in Jesus' name. To believe goes beyond a mental recognition of the truth. To believe in Christ for salvation requires a transfer of allegiance. We stop worshiping ourselves, we forsake our sin, and we begin to worship God with our heart, soul, mind, and strength. God desires that every person spend eternity with him, but he honors our free will. Anyone who so desires can go to heaven. Jesus already paid the price for our salvation, but we must accept that gift and transfer ownership of our lives to him. Heaven is perfect, and God cannot take anyone there who insists on holding on to his or her sin. We must allow him to cleanse us of our sin and make us righteous in his sight. We can choose to trust in Jesus' payment for our sin, or we can choose to pay for our sins ourselves. But we must remember that the payment for our sin is eternity in hell. C.S. Lewis said it this way, there are two kinds of people in the end. Those who say to God, thy will be done, and those to whom God says in the end, thy will be done. That answers the question, who will go to hell? Research this question further on our website, gotquestions.org. Give a thumbs up and be sure to click subscribe. Now, meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.